every time I think I'm going to tweet again, I open this app and I'm confronted by people angry about the same things, repeating the same talking points of the last three years. Current affairs has become so stale and genuinely just boring. Either that or I need to follow uh, better accounts. Uh, expand on that thought uh, a little, Dominique. So, you know, we all know that we've had to endure some real madness over the last few years, and especially for me as a political commentator, uh, I can't, well, I'm expected not just to talk about the things that I enjoy speaking about, but also, and not enjoy, but are also passionate about speaking about, but also just the really ridiculous things. And taking a break from social media and and hopping in and hopping out, it just made me realize that there really is no material change in terms of the everyday news that the masses are expected to consume. So for example, you know, Harry and Meghan, mm. how many more stories are we going to have to endure about Harry and Meghan? How many more people are we going to have to listen to talking about how terrible they both are before, you know, the media just gets bored of it? And the thing for me is with stories like this, and even today with uh, Suella Braverman, you know, apparently she tried to convince civil servants to let her off a speeding fine by, you know, enabling her to be able to take a private course. You know, we're all spending our time angry, outraged, bickering over the most ridiculous things in my personal opinion that actually don't affect our material world but also you know it keeps us distracted and that's why uh certain political issues like for example um you know freedom of speech being corroded and and the bbc really acting acting upon that with their bbc verify thing mm. which i think is really quite sinister mm. uh, but also bigger issues like the issue of uh, people's concern with immigration now we all acknowledge that, you know, illegal immigration, uncontrolled immigration is a problem. Yeah, people are still sucked into the two camps of, you know, I'm going to defend Swella Braverman until the death and I'm going to whine about how I'm living in a quasi-fascist state because people believe in borders. And looking at, at it from an outside perspective now, I, I just feel a lot of it is really quite futile. And I used to participate in a lot of it, actually.